Hey guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's coming up on 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Good morning to everybody. I want to talk about Trump yesterday, his uh, meltdown uh, on uh, the, the briefing. Um, I don't use that word often. I really don't because um, I, I see it too often. You know, it's always everybody's always using that word meltdown because, well, part of it is because we we, we become immune to Trump's lies and his temper tantrums. But yesterday uh, was just a show of pure ignorance. Uh, it, show, it showed who he truly is, clearly. Um, when he spoke yesterday, he, he kept insisting that he had total authority over when this country opens. It's, it's up to him. He, has, he used these words, total authority. Um, and it became obvious right there. It's been obvious to most of us, but it was it was glare, glaringly obvious at that point that he's still it, it, it's it's his show. It, the boss, he's the boss, and he's you know he, that's what he wants. It's not about the coronavirus. It's not about the health of the United States. It's not the 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 health or security of the United States at all. It's about him. He needs to be the center of attention. He needs praise. He needs to be the best, the best of everything, and he needs to be, uh, he needs the authority. He's a, a truly dangerous person. Uh, if he was a little smarter, see, I, I mean this sincerely, I don't mean it as insult, an insult, but if he was a little bit more intelligent, he'd be truly dangerous. I, I believe that. Um, so as he's talking, he, it's clear that he's not concerned with me, with, with any of you guys. He's not. He's concerned that people understand that it is up to him to say when this country opens and that when it's all over, he did the best job of anybody in the United States. That is his sole focus. Uh, and it was clear yesterday. I love the fact that the media calls him on this. Now, Trump, when he's called out, he just fall as as most normal people see it. They they see that it's just a cover up. It's just uh, it's just a line he uses when he's put in a spot. Um, so CNN and a, a couple other stations I know people say people Trump supporters have this big thing with CNN. I won't get into that now, but uh, and it wasn't just them. And as a matter of fact, it was uh, legal experts from the entire country dogpiled on Trump after this briefing yesterday. That he was wrong, man. That he does not understand the Federalist construct of the United States. He does not understand the basic Constitution that they teach teenagers in high school. That's who we've elected president. Um... It's up to the governors. In this situation, with the health of these areas, it's up to the governors. The beautiful thing uh, that I, I truly like is the governors of Rhode Island, my governor, Ted Lamont, uh, Cuomo from next door in New York, New Jersey, all got together, and they seem to have a solid game plan. And I, I couldn't be, I could not have been prouder of our uh, our little area here in the Northeast. Um, just taking the ball and getting a plan that that made me feel good interesting an interesting thing here too is uh some trump supporters i've talked to in the last week amongst my family the people i don't see as many people as i used to but the people i have seen have had a total and people on facebook have a total different opinion of ned uh ned lamont ted lamont or ned lamont our our governor here um, the Republicans, the Trump supporters hated him, hated him with a passion, um, for no particular reason other than he's a Democrat. But, uh, I've seen their opinions change. I've seen even the Trump supporters opinions change of our democratic governor here because when he comes on TV and you can't, you can't fake this. Uh, our governor is generally, he looks into the camera and he's genuinely concerned and he, he, he speaks with his heart and you could see it. Uh, you know, you could just see it and everybody in this, in the state's seen it and I'm, 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 I'm quite proud of him. But, uh, back to the, 
the briefing yesterday. It just turned into a total shit show. Um, the, the bottom line is, it was one of those moments when the man that has been elected as president, his, his true demeanor, his true nature, the curtain was pulled back. And for that brief, brief couple of moments, he saw the true nature of what we've put in charge of the United States. Uh, an arrogant, narcissistic, um, old billionaire that, that does not, has no real concept of his. I can't imagine, imagine the people around him, the people that know how the government works, the people that have been doing this for decades. Um, the people in the White House, the people in the Pentagon, um, just in different areas of government. I can't imagine how they look at this, look at him. And they must, when they talk to him, they must realize that he's just, he's an idiot. Um, I can't imagine how he's even got support amongst his own Republicans. Well, I guess I could, because they, I think they, they all realize he's an idiot too, but they see the support of all the idiots in the country <laughs> supporting him and they, they see power in backing him. It's another thing that's truly bothered me in the last couple of weeks, um, especially after the firing of the, uh, the captain of the Theodore Roosevelt, that it's become apparent now the damage that Trump's doing to the country. There's Republican governors, the Republican senators, there's uh, Republicans in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, different, different parts of government that look to, to appease him, to seek his approval, almost like a dictator. And they do things against their better judgment, against their own nature, because they don't want to be um, called out. They don't want to be uh, humiliated by, by this bully in the White House, they, they want to seek his approval. Men, these are men with truly with no balls at all. Um, like I said before, it doesn't take balls to be a bully. It's much the opposite. Um, I'll do another video on bullies. I was bullied as a kid. But anyway, yeah, the, the briefing yesterday, it, it was, uh, I could only liken it to a curtain being pulled open. And um, one of the reporters just flat out, I, I believe it might have been CNN, just flat out said, that's, you're wrong. That's not how it works. Um, when Trump insisted he had total authority over the governors, uh, he said something, as usual, just babbling nonsense. He said something about, well, we'll write up papers on that. But I don't believe we'll have to. I generally get along good with the governors. And I, he said something, we'll write up papers on that. When one of the reporters pointed out that you are wrong, it is not up to you. It's up to the governors. It's up to the individual municipalities and states when and if when they open, reopen their economy and how they go about it. It's up to the governors. That's they have a, autonomy. That's how our government works. That's how it's always worked. It's not, it's not a, a, a Democrat hoax. It's not a media hoax. It's been going on for 250 years. Um, and like, that's what I mean. It was just for a second, the curtains pulled open and he's just, he's an idiot. He's just a flat out uh, egotistical idiot um, with his sole focus being on power and praise. And it was obvious in, in this... Uh, in this media briefing on Monday. Um, I mean, at first you get mad when you watch it, but then you're almost glad because I, I really hope that there's a lot of Trump supporters out there. They just, I don't know what they were doing in high school. When I, when I, uh, when I think of Trump supporters, a lot of times I think of the guys that were sitting in the back of the class throwing spitballs and uh, just clowning around or sleeping. The, the guys that always bragged about, I never read one book in high school. Uh, you know, those guys, and I'm like, those are the Trump supporters that I remember. The, those guys in high school that, that didn't have a clue, that just, <laughs> you know, those are the Trump supporters. Because it, it can only be people like that, that uh, they actually believe what he's saying. Because anybody that with, uh, with half an education, understands that this man is an idiot. 
You know, and I'm not saying that to be as an insult. I'm, it's just a point of fact. He's not intelligent at all. Um, he, he He's in an office. It's way over his head. And it, it, that's the scary thing. It becomes apparent um, in times like this. And hopefully, in the end, uh, there'll be enough people, intelligent people, to realize that, you know, he, he's, he's, you know, this little experiment, this little playtime with uh, with this this clown in the Oval Office has to has to be at an at an end in November. So, those are my thoughts. You guys have a good Monday or a good Tuesday. Take care.